It's easy to get him to give you the truth. Well, don't keep me in suspense and spit it out. People speak freely only to the deceased. That's ridiculous. Are you saying that I have to die for him to tell me the truth? What I mean is, he'll absolutely speak the naked truth to his wife. It's been too long, my dear husband. Is that really you, Erlan? Yes, I just had to come see you. Why? Are you angry at me for trying to save Wangjuin? Just as you thought, he had been hiding the truth from you. I'm doing this for her own good. I don't want her to end up like you. But it was her duty to begin with. I know I'm wrong, but I'm also scared. You died because of the embroidery scroll, and the box is just plain cursed. What am I to do? It's all in the past. You can't do anything for me now, but you still can tell Wan Jun the truth or she might suffer the same fate. No, Erlan never pressed me for the truth like this. Who are you? Relax. Don't panic and continue. He can't tell who you are yet. Wangjuin, it's you! I 
I'm sorry, Father, but I don't know what else to do. Please tell me everything. But if I tell you, you'll be living in fear for the rest of your life, just like your mother. I'm in too deep already, Father. Finding the scroll is my only option now. I thought you'd be safe not knowing anything about it. It seems I was too naive. It's my fault that you got involved. It's my only option, yes, but we can end this by finding it, Father. All right, come with me. I thought it was missing, Father. I didn't know you had it all along. You still remember? I thought you would have forgotten by now, since you were so little back then. It's too bad that without a key... We won't know what is in the box. Mountain are not mountain, teeming with white birch. It's been generations, so no one can be sure of the authenticity or expect all clues to survive throughout time. Problem is, I only have half of the scroll. The other half... It's in the Duke's hand. Is there a fire by the wall? Impossible. There's hardly anything there, much less catching on fire. Let's go check. What are you doing? Damn! Why did you do this? Didn't you know it could kill a lot of innocent people? I didn't mean to. I was just trying to scare them.
If someone does die, would court let you off because you didn't mean it? That's no excuse at all. Who are you? Why did you start a fire? Do you have a quarrel with someone in the Chen Manor? I sought justice from Lord Chen but was ignored. This is the only way I know to get his attention. Well, I cannot tell by your one-sided speech that my father is at fault. I'll check with him, and if you're speaking the truth, I won't stand idly by. Did I frighten you? No, I'm just not quite used to it. Don't be afraid of me, or... Really, I wasn't frightened. I'm happy because I want to know you again. Where is my father, Elder Housemaid? You didn't know? He took off for Lingxian early in the morning, seemingly on urgent business, and probably won't be back for a while. Guess I can't find out now. Is there anything I can help you with? Should I write him and let him know? It's alright. I don't want to distract him from important issues. Do you know anything about the hostile takeover of Song Lin's land? Uh... Please, tell me if you do. I don't want my father to be accused of corruption. Lord Chen is an official, dedicated to the people, but he is still vulnerable to personal losses. Excuse me, who are you? Mrs. Song, I presume? We're here to see Song Lin. Wait here, and I'll bring you to the farm where he works. That's not necessary. Why are you home now? Don't you have to finish sewing today? Most of our land has been taken. The rest doesn't take a whole day to sew. I found out more about your case. I'll do what I can to help you. 
If you really want to help Miss Chen, you should let me go to the country court, not coming here in person. It was my fault last time, and I'll get myself out of this predicament. So capricious. That'll make anyone think twice about helping out. Whether I can help or not remains to be seen. But don't forget, I'm still high above you and that means I have more weight to throw around than you. Nothing good comes out of evil deeds, Fong. No. Nothing good comes out of opposing the wealthy. You should know your role and stop wasting time fighting the case. I wouldn't have to if you didn't conspire with Liang to rob me of my land. Let's talk this out. No need for physicality. You behave, or this might escalate from land dispute to assault and battery. You... You're a good talker, Mr. Fong. I know a few words from you can land him in jail, but you're sure to suffer a beating before that, which I believe isn't a prospect you look forward to. Never mind. I stand to lose more than him. And I'd rather not deal with peasants like you. Control yourself. Curb your impulse or you'll never get your land back. Alendi is right. Fong can set you up and send you to prison any time he wants. So don't give him an excuse. But I'm a man. If I let him walk all over me, how can I hope to protect my land and wife? Impatience will only make things worse. You're violating the very same law you want to give you justice by going off half-cocked. This was my farm until Liang seized much of it a month ago. You mentioned you were down to half acre from two acres, but the mudslide covers one acre at best. Where's the other half acre?
I can't change how rapid the river is, but I must get the land Liang sees back or we won't be able to survive. All this doesn't matter. What matters is the deed to the land. Uh... You do have the deed, don't you? I have the deed, but the size is determined by the mountain. Specifically, two acres between the mountain and the river. How long ago was the deed made? No idea, except it was in my grandfather's time. It should have been revised, but no one got around to it because of the uprising at the time. If we can't prove the land belongs to you, we have to prove the land doesn't belong to Leong. What exactly makes Fong so impressive? You don't even know the famous lawyer Fong. You are so badly informed. Why is he so eminent that we all must know him? Well, I'm not surprised that a homemaker never heard of him. I'm listening. I'll take everything you got here. Bong is the best talker we got. He can make a judge believe the sun rose from the west. Hiring him virtually guarantees you the victory in court. But what about evidence? You can't just talk your way out of it. That I'm rather hazy on. From what I heard, Bong isn't above forging evidence when he has none. Then use it to destroy opponents until they run off, crying to their mothers. Do you think you can get your hands on fake credentials, Alendi? Yeah? But what's your plan? I'll tell you when you get it. Okay, here's the credential you wanted. Don't I get a compliment? Good job, Alendi. You're terrific. That's it? I expected more effort from you. That might sound like a brush-off, but I'm sincere. All right. I believe you. So, what's the plan? Just wait and see.
Nope. You're impersonating an Imperial Scholar? You might pass if you were just walking on a street, but not when you debate with someone. It's okay. No one saw through when I left the palace in disguise. Let's wager. I'll give it to you if you could hang out with me for a day without blowing it. You're on. Just make sure you hand it over after I win. What were you thinking taking me here? Relax. We'll worry about the wager later. I just want to check out the show. You've passed the test, Brother Chen. You! It's very easy for one to blow their cover when surprised, especially women who are prone to shrieking. You managed to control yourself, Lady P. Congratulations! I ought to slap you. It's different this time, Brother Chen. I'm not dressed up like a girl as a prank this time, so it's not good for two men to flirt out in the public. Look at you, Song, hiring a pathetic Imperial Scholar in hopes of taking what doesn't belong to you. You know full well whether it belonged to me or not, you lying cheater. Be cool. Let him have his fun. We got this. You think it's in the bag? Perhaps you shouldn't celebrate too soon. The deed will prove who owns the land. Do you have your song?
It states two acres, sir, but now it's only half an acre. I believe the portion buried in mud also belongs to Song. No, sir. The deed clearly designates Song's property as along the mountain and the river. That's right. The rabbit has washed away Song's farm over the last two years, so he's been trying to seize my land as his own. I just can't let it slide. It's you who covet my land and take advantage of the mudslide. Even if the river washed some of it away, it was only a half acre. The river isn't even a mile wide. So where did my other acre go? True. It is written in black and white that he owns two acres along the edge of the mountain and river. Numbers don't lie. Who says numbers don't lie? I believe the land was passed down from his grandfather, but all official records have been destroyed long ago during the insurgents. It is still Song Yuan. You should have registered it with the officials when you got it, but you didn't because you changed the language in the deed. I didn't. This appears every bit of its old age, and it's ridiculous to invalidate the deed just because it wasn't registered. It's not hard to forge an aging paper, but very hard to disprove it. Which is why Song did it to fool Liang. Mr. Fong is right. The deed's authenticity cannot be confirmed. Do you have anything other than the deed to prove Mr. Liang is taking your land unlawfully, Song? The mud is soft, doubtlessly from a mudslide off the mountain. Did you actually witness the mudslide? Otherwise, how can you be sure? Mr. Fong is right. Without proof, it's just hearsay, and the county court goes by evidence. That's easy. I'll prove it to you now. Don't forget, Song is a farmer, yet the land here showed no signs of crop. Mr. Fong is right. Don't make false accusations, Scholar Chen. But this is about land dispute, not farming. Don't you try to confuse the issue. We are resolving rights to the farmland now. Therefore, this land does not belong to Song, and Mr. Leong did not forcefully occupy anyone's property. Mr. Fong speaks the truth, Scholar Chen. This plot is not ours. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> 